So what we have here is a series of mushrooms I'll show you. If you look over here, there's some oak tree uh, uh, down there, some smallish oaks. And under them are growing a variety of ectomycorrhizal species. So this is Amanita muscaria that many of you will have seen. It's, a, it's an enormous one uh, and obviously quite old and fallen down. But if we keep on going this way, uh, we'll find that there's other mushrooms also growing here. So here we have an example of uh, a genus called Rushula. These are also ectomycorrhizal species. This is probably a Rushula uh, amoinalins. And if we keep going, here we have uh, Paxillus involutus, which we've uh, run across before, another ectomycorrhizal species. Here we find uh, some more Amanita muscaria, so another ectomycorrhizal species. And there's a few more uh, Amanita muscaria that are just, just coming up here. And so the point of what I'm trying to say here is that uh, these ectomycorrhizal species are all growing uh, with the roots of these oaks. And so these are probably forming a common mycorrhizal network that's connecting up these various oak trees by the mycelium that's growing underneath the ground. And so these, um, these mushrooms are, are connecting up these trees and allowing communication between the trees. And I guess also potentially you can think about uh, the trees are actually um, allowing the mushrooms to link up uh, to each other. Uh, whether mushrooms communicate uh, via trees through the mycorrhizal network is something that I don't think anybody's uh, addressed yet. But anyway, uh, under the ground there's a lot of action and these different ectomycorrhizal species are all growing amongst these trees.